Here is a case of inferior calicial stone RIRS where CT has shown apparently an acute angle. In the era of non-IVP days, CT is considered as the main investigation. In this patient, we have already done on the right side RIRS. Left side, when we have seen the CT like this, we thought we will do PCNL. Like this, we thought we do PCNL. In that case, when the RGP is done, even then we thought it is good case for PCNL. But sometimes when you go inside and see, it won't be that difficult. Because water will distend the pelvis, water will distend the infundibulum, water will easily allow the scope to go into the inferior calyx. This is a disposable endovasive scope, which easily could go into the inferior calyx and see the stones, two stones like this. When the two stones were there, the small stone could be delivered out of the narrow infundibulum and can be kept uh, in the upper calyx. As much as possible, if upper calyx stone relocated, SFR can be improved uh, as expected. In the other stone, which was big, we don't want to take risk of delivering through the infundibulum. So in situ, we laced with TFL uh, 1.5 joules and 10 Hz. Initially, as much as possible, we have done powder. Once the stone becomes weaker, it will be break into two, three pieces. After that, it is broken into two, three pieces. Once the stones are uh, moving freely, then popcorn is used. Uh, and uh, popcorn, there is no special technique. The closed calyx with movable, cal movable uh, stone with 0.15 joules and 100 Hz, it works very good, especially with the thulium fiber laser. If you don't make powder in the inferior calyx, these stones may become again recurrent stones. That's why wash continuously and get them out of the calyx into the pelvis like this and then throw the access sheet, they will come out. Post stented cases, it will be very, very useful because the powder clears, because the ureter is dilated. Now we are going into the, uh, the upper calyx uh, and aiming the small stone like this, which is easy to tackle because it is in the upper calyx. Uh, again, we kept 1.5 joules and 10 Hz for dusting or early fragmentation. Both settings are same. Only thing is that pedal is different. The right side will be dusting. Once it is fragmented, once the fragments float, we can go back again to popcorning. Uh, then continuous popcorn for more time. Only thing is that heat may generate, so we have to have continuous flow of water. And in between some time, if you stop, then water outflow will be there and heat will not affect the kidney. Uh, then complete powder uh, clearance can be done. At the end, RGP also has no, not shown stone. So not only the CT, but also the RGP may not look favorable. But if you do flexible scopy, they may look favorable. If not, uh, supine PCNL can be done because the position for RIRS and supine PCNL, same position we can use. That is the only place where you need not think of repositioning the patient. Directly you can puncture and in fact you can get the stones into pelvis also. Either you can remove by PCNL or you can remove by the RIRS. Thank you.